What's up? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm doing a hair tutorial and this is one that has been very, very highly requested because I wear my hair like this a ton and it's just like a slicked back bun with a middle part. I love this hairstyle. Super easy, super, super quick. If you're running late, slick it back. Slick it back. Um, also, obviously I feel like I'm not the type of person that I can, I can't really be like a fake person, I guess you could say. Um, and I kind of just want to obviously acknowledge what's going on in the world. It's been really hard for me to film the last couple days. I've been trying to film this video for about like three or four days now. And it's just been difficult because I feel, you know, I feel like the state of the world is at a really, really unprecedented place. And obviously I, it, it's been really getting me down. Um, but the reason why I still want to film, I still want to continue to try to, you know, upload and post on Instagram as much as possible is because I realized that, you know, social media is somewhat of an escape from reality. And I hope that I can provide one of you guys or some of you guys or, you know, however many of you guys, some sort of like escape or even positivity throughout the day. And whatever, wherever in this world you're dealing with this, whatever it is that you specifically and personally are dealing with throughout this whole situation. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. I hope that I can provide some sort of, you know, enjoyment for you guys. Um, that's really my goal. And I said this on Instagram, I've, I'm, you know, saying it right here, right now. Um, I'm going to try to post as much as possible. I'm going to try to again, provide that for you guys, because I feel like that's, you know, one way that I hope that I can help out if, if you're having a really rough time dealing with this. And also I've been doing Instagram lives. Um, I feel like that's been really cool for me because, you know, at this time of quarantine, I feel like we just need as much human interaction as possible. I know I was getting a little bit stir crazy. So Instagram live has really been helping me. So I've been trying to do Instagram live every single day. Um, so yeah, you can always join me on there if you want just some interaction. I love talking to you guys and everything. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to acknowledge that because I know it's it's a really, really difficult time for a lot of us. Um, I'm going to put some links to some foundations that I found if you're able to, um, you know, consider donating. I've donated to all the ones that I'm going to list because again, that's one way we can really help out right now is to give back um, at this like time of uncertainty. I feel like, you know, obviously in my lifetime, I've never gone through something like this. I think in a lot of our lifetimes, we've never been through something like this. So it's really a time where we want, I want us to come together. I want us to be a community and a team that, you know, supports one another and so that we can help each other through this and you know obviously it's I don't, I don't mean to make this whole video about this obviously but um just know that i love you guys wherever you are in this world whatever it is that you specifically are dealing with in this situation i'm sending my love i'm sending my light and i really hope that my videos can provide some sort of positivity for you guys so that being said whew, that was like well, it was hard to get out, but one and done kind of thing. <laughs> um, that being said, you know, again, I've been wanting to film this for a couple days. I just haven't been able to because, oh my God, I just haven't been able to because of my, my own mental state around this entire situation, but we're getting to it now. I just washed my hair and let it dry. This is what it looks like when it dries now. <laughs> um, my hair used to be so straight and everything when it dried, but now it's like, I don't know, it gets a little frizzy. What I like to do, especially when I really want this hairstyle to look its best, is I'll take my blow dryer and just blow out the top portion so that everything is nice and smooth and that makes the whole process a lot easier as well. So bad I just burn my foot that normally obviously does not happen because I have it on like a bathroom counter but wow that was very very painful let's continue on shall we and again I really only blew it out like 
very uh, loosely. I didn't really spend too much time on it because we are gonna be waxing down the hair. I just wanted it to be somewhat smooth up here. I hope it is, I can't really see that well to be honest. And this is my GHD blow dryer. It's really, really good for getting everything dry quickly. Um, okay, so you're gonna need a couple things. Um, a hair gel, so these are two of the ones that I kind of rotate between, R Co Glossing Wax and then the Hans de Fuco Heavy Made, which is what I'm gonna use today. You're gonna need some oil or uh, this is like the, a shine oil mist. It's really, really good. I've talked about it before. So you need a brush to brush it out. You need a brush that's gonna be for your smoothing. So this I got on Amazon. This is actually my favorite brush. It's so good, um, but you need it. You need something that has like this stiffness to it because that's what's gonna really like get those edges slicked back. Necessity. Okay, so obviously you want to section off your hair. That actually looks pretty good. And this is a little trick that my friend Josh, who is actually um, Ariana Grande's hairstylist, told me about at one of his master classes. He is an amazing, amazing, amazing hairstylist. So you want to loosely tie up your hair in like just approximately the spot and the direction that you're going to have your hair like for the final look. You wanna take your wax or your hair gel. I don't know why I keep calling it wax, but you wanna take your hair gel. Again, Hanze Fuko Heavy Made is what I'm gonna to use today. And you want to warm it up in your hands. I should have taken my rings off for sure. But you actually want to go in and almost like mold the hair to where we're gonna have it for the final look. And then you take this out and brush all of that into place. So see at this point I can let it down and my the gel has already like set into the skin or into the hair I guess. I'm just gonna clip this part up, the top part, and you wanna take the bottom part. You already have some gel on the bottom. Really smooth it out and you wanna secure this. And again, make it really, really tight because that's what's gonna give us that supermodel snatch effect. And I also like this technique because it gives you a good viewpoint as to like where the finished ponytail is gonna be basically. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of that Hans de Fuco gel and put it right back in. And because we have that pony like base underneath of the bottom section, we keep this line because that was one thing that I always ran into before I knew this order of operations slash technique is that when I would try to pull my hair back, I would lose the little line in the front. So when you do it in two sections, the bottom section going first, that is what helps you keep that. And do you see how bomb this brush is for smoothing everything out? Like I, I literally feel like I cannot live without this brush now. And it was like maybe $5 from Amazon. It's such a good find. It's from the brand Diane, which I know they sell in like CVS and stuff. Um, but yeah. And then you just want to secure that on top of where we have the first pony. Whew! We are snatched. Snatched up. And obviously sometimes I leave out two pieces in the paces. <laughs> obviously sometimes I leave out two pieces in the front and I, I actually really like that look too, but I feel like most of you guys always ask me when everything is slicked back to show you a tutorial, so I thought I would just do that for the tutorial. But again, you could obviously take two pieces out of the front and like have them hang down and I really, really like it like that. And then I'm gonna take the Nature Lab Perfect Shine Oil Mist. I spray it all in the front actually, just to further add shine and like slickness. And then I'll actually spray it on the ponytail. Ooh. Cause see how my ends are all dry? I wanna moisturize my hair while it's in this little bun. I wrap my hair, like I twist it and then I take it and make a little bun. And let me turn around for this. I'll take this, take my little hair tie, and just twist it around three times. And that is the bun. 
So the reason I like to use my hair tie rather than um, bobby pins is because I found that bobby pins can be very, very damaging to the hair. Obviously, there's gonna be times where you need to use them, but I recommend using bobby pins as little as possible because they can dig into your scalp and cause damage and then your hair is not gonna grow because at the scalp, you already have damage. So I find that they, my hair stays in just as well if I wrap around that hair tie. I will say that these specific hair ties, I literally only have one left. These hair ties work best for this bun better than the traditional ones and better than the ones with the metal on them because it just kind of like flattens everything out makes everything stick together back there all right so then i'm going to take the got to be glued hairspray spray it around the edge of my face and i take the softer side of this brush so this is like the firmer side this is the softer side and i smooth down any flyaways and i even take this around the bun area. Last step, I'm gonna take my Color Wow, which is just kind of like a, a root powder, and place it right here next to the part. And then in any spots where you feel like your hair is a little sparse, you can place this in and blend it out to just make the hairline look a little thicker. All right, so this is our finished look. Doing that double ponytail really makes a huge difference in how sleek and chic you can get in keeping this little line here. So love you guys so much. And again, um, you know, give me some suggestions for videos that you guys want to see during this time. I know obviously, wow, I put this towel over here and I didn't realize this in the shot. Um, but obviously it's, it's a very difficult time for a lot of us. Um, but we really can get through this together. And I want to, again, as I've been saying, provide you guys with somewhat of a escape from, you know, everything that's going on so i love you guys so much give me some suggestions for videos that you guys really want to see right now i'm going to be filming a ton um and remember you are beautiful and set out let's share our love let's share our light and i'll see you guys in my next video